Fortunate is he. Fortunate is he who remembers Allah abundantly. Worldly distractions can at mildly sway his thoughts of Allah and Judgment Day. Alhamdulillah, we give all thanks and praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making it possible for us to reach the 17th day in this blessed month. Our dear guest is literally leaving us. We have barely, barely 13 days to go. If we are spared or giving that favor by Allah to experience Ramadan for 13 days, I pray that may Allah accept all that we have done and grant us longevity of life to do more. Today is a very significant day in the life of the Muslims. The 17th day in Ramadan. Why? Why is today very significant? Who knows for one million real in dua? One million real in dua. <laughs> In dua, yes, we can give one million real in dua. Allah back one million real. That's a dua. Yes. <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> Someone has answered. He said, Badr. Yes, it was the battle of Badr. I thank God I said the dua part before he answered. Yes. <laughs> then he would hold me to it. The battle of Badr took place on the 17th day of Ramadan. It was the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly differentiated between two groups that came together to fight two groups came together to fight one was fighting for the sake of Allah the other second party was fighting because of its own desires, its own uh, wish to become a powerful figure. We all remember that this battle was one that if it was on a normal circumstance, the Muslims who were 313, not well-trained spursmen or marksmen or fighters, were made to fight a group of 1,000 that were marksmen, that were they had sophisticated weapons at that time and the muslims who had gone out they left the city of medina to stop the caravan they didn't go to fight but on their way going to do something that they felt would give them ease from the persecution they were facing allah made them to face the very first battle in the month of ramadan two years after hijrah the same year that Allah made it for, for fasting to be done in Ramadan, the same year they were asked to go and fight. Allahu Akbar. There are three very quick lessons I want to bring out of this incident of the Battle of Badr. Number one, sometimes in our lives, we have things that we yearn we want to do. It might be good, but it is not what Allah has planned for us. Allow Allah to direct your affairs in everything. Leave your affairs to Allah. The Muslims went out to stop a caravan to protect their lives and their dignity. Allah told them, go to war. And they had to obey. And they accepted and they went to war. Number two, they were outnumbered. Their situation was one that no one would have ever thought they can win. It looked impossible. But Allah Azza wa Jal elevated them granted them such strength that during the battle of Badr, an amazing thing happened. Allah calls for the Muslims to fall asleep. Allah calls the Muslims to sleep and find peace in their sleep. Who goes to war and goes to sleep? No soldier is on the battlefield and goes to sleep. Yet Allah calls them to fall asleep. Number three, the power of dua. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
did not relent in calling on to Allah. This was a thing that happened and he needed to immediately ask for the help of Allah and he raised his hands and prayed till his beard became wet with his tears. And he was saying, Oh Allah, these are the Muslims. If they are defeated, who will remain to worship you? What did Allah do? Allah sent down angels to come and take, play, and take part in that battle. The angels came down Alaf in a thousand. In another ayah, khamsa to alaf, five thousand angels came down. To the degree that the believers said that they would be in battle and they would not see anything, but they would hear the whips cracking. They would hear a sword. And then they see people are falling down. Allahu Akbar. I know some of us, if we see that happen today, al Janine. The good umazaka fitawa salaj. But this was the amr of Allah, the power of dua. There are so many lessons, but the time is not enough. I only have five minutes. I pray that may Allah bless us all with the power of dua. May we be able to call on to Allah and may he hear our call and may he answer it. Don't look down on your prayers, not for once, not anything. Don't laugh at it. Don't think it is insignificant. All of us saw the dua of a brother who went to the Kaaba. I'm sure we all saw it. Bahaushi, Allah, Fulus, 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 Fulus. Someone said to him, an Arab man, Yani, Naudu Bika, Mina Nar, Wal Jannah, Yes, Aluk Bil Jannah, Samala, Andama, Andama, the one, and I never want Allah to say, I'm a Fulus, Kudi, Wahala, Nigeria. The brother has done another video, Allah accepted his dua. You need to see him now, very fresh looking, handsome, Barakallah, Fikum, Assalamu Alaikum.